girls or air between haves and have not is emerging in society. According to this independent evaluating organization, Oxfam, Logatile Yenpad Sambanda. Logatile Yenpad Sambanda. The two media Yenpad Sambanda. Abarana Kayinula Sutta Sambanda. Logatile Munti Ampad Kodi Paro Manisha Kayinula Sutta in Julia. Eighty rich people in the world, according to Oxford report, they have wealth equal to three hundred and fifty crore people. This is the thing. This is the cruel, ugly world in which we are living. Should we not change this world? What is the justification of this kind of a world? Would it be even one day in the Kilat, even in the Sahika Patu? Then the same data can be presented, the finding of this kind of research group can be presented in different forms. I don't know. So this is the kind of world we are living in. And India is no exception. Tamil Nadu is no exception. For last 40 years, two regional bourgeois political parties are ruling this state. For last four decades, they are getting whatever they want. People say that there are lot of development, growth and things like that happening in Tamil Nadu. And they also say that whatever commission or bribe that is changing hands, both these regional Musha parties ensure that a part of the share goes to the other group also, so that there will not be any quarrel. Am I right? Satya Mahama, you can tell But what is the plight of the poor people? Baba Manishan day, Tudilani day, Shikhar day, Sri Gala Kastri Yenda. Chalupaka, our Tudilani day, Tudilani day, Tudilani day, Vele Ida, Tudilani day. Ibuda Krishim Narasayam, Kerala Tudilani day. Kerala Tudilani day, Kerala Tudilani day, Kerala Tudilani day, Kerala Tudilani day. Put the Kishi Kerala to your side. The Vele Lakhidato, say Kerala to Tamil Nadu. Unemployment is growing. And there is this theory of free market society where more wealth is being generated. Then part of that will percolate down and those poorest of the poor will also get some benefit. But these studies, including the latest seminal work of Thomas Piketty, Capital in 21st Century, that work also with unassailable analysis, facts and figures, he shows how inequality is growing for last 300 years, last three centuries. When there was no scope, no technological assistance to analyze data like what is available now, computers and things like that. Manually, Karl Marx was able to make similar assessment and come out with conclusions. 
Thomas Piketty doesn't have any conclusion what Karl Marx could not discover and present in his last capital. But the finding of Thomas Piketty's analysis also underlies the discovery of Karl Marx, we know that. So, this society needs to be changed. So, leftist argumentative has to emerge in Tamil Nadu, in India and in the world. Now the question is, will that alternative really possible to commerce? Exploitative society doesn't have any locus standing to continue, any justification to continue. But will a leftist alternative can emerge there? References have already been made about the fact that the entire world is witnessing a phenomena of leftist forces emerging as an alternative in different parts of the globe. Latin America, in Latin America, if you add Central America, which is a chain-like segment in the globe, in the map, connecting North America and South America, that is called Central America. We know those countries, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, El Salvador, like that. Then there are Caribbean islands. If you put all these geographical areas together, there are 20 countries in Latin America, Central America and, and the Caribbeans. Among these 20 countries, there has been only one country, Cuba. And what is the population of Cuba? It used to be a leftist country since 1959. Population of Cuba is only one third of the population of the state of Kerala. If it is Tamil Nadu, I think it would be one sixth. Here, population is six fourths. Seven fourths. Okay. So it is one seventh of the population of Tamil Nadu. Just small country. Population is 11 million, 1 crore, 10 lakh. That small Cuba was the only leftist country, communist country, where socialism was sought to be constructed. Today, instead of only one Cuba out of 20 countries, there are majority, 11 countries, in Latin America and Caribbean, which are broadly, which are broadly, I underline that because there are some countries which are leftist but still following certain policies we need to be critical about. But then why we include them to fudge the statistics to say that there are many no. Notwithstanding our criticism about some of their policies, we appreciate also most of their policies because those policies are against the pro imperialist economic policies of globalization. They are basically opposed to the economic policies of globalization. Within that framework, if you go into the nitty gritty nuances, details, there are certain policies which we may have to criticize. Level countries. Of those countries, countries like Bolivia, then Maduro's country, Venezuela, which in this post presentation you have seen Fidel Castro embracing the Red Shirt Wala, Hugo Chavez. If he had lived for a few more decades, definitely 
the, 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 the future of Latin America where we further strongly proliferate this departure has so negative implications. But that is a different matter. In Bolivia, Evo Morales, his leftist government, through steps of nationalization, sharing the wealth of the nation with all segments of society, the most impressive and dramatic attack on poverty and success in poverty reduction has been initiated. It is not that there is a leftist government. The leftist art, that is the title here, Tamuna, left army. What is the army of the left? That you can see in Bolivia, in Uruguay. Spending for education and health from over 2.6 percent, it has been doubled in Burundi. And in enrollment, in poor Aboriginals there, Adivasis, our Adivasis are not there, Aboriginals. Their children are not being enrolled generally in schools, but they are getting admission. They are going for life. These are all happening as part of this. Leftist changeover. And somebody would say, oh, because of the Latin American backwardness that is happening there. Backward societies look for some change. That's why in China, communist leadership is continuing now. In Vietnam, Korea, Laos, and all that. But not in modern societies. But we know they can almost say that.